Japan is one of the countries in the world with the highest concentration of volcanoes. Volcanic eruptions are difficult to predict, and the damage caused by falling ash is extensive and continues over a lengthy period. When I was in Sweden, I never experienced a volcanic eruption. What happens when a volcano erupts? And what should we be careful about? Let's go and find the answers. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what exactly is a volcanic eruption? Our guide is Mr. Fuji Toshitsugu, a specialist in volcanic research who is known as Mr. Magma. Are there many volcanoes in Japan that could erupt sometime? Oh, yes, there are quite a few. A volcano with the potential to erupt is called an active volcano. We define an active volcano as one that has erupted in the last 10,000 years or one that is fuming regularly today. In Japan, there are 111 active volcanoes. Of the 1,500 active volcanoes worldwide, 111 are located in Japan, all the way from north to south. The Japan Meteorological Agency, or JMA, constantly monitors volcanoes that may erupt in the next 100 years. Based on those observations, the JMA announces five warning levels. At level three, climbing is restricted. Level four requires evacuation of the elderly, as there is a possibility of danger to residential areas. For example, if you want to climb a mountain, you should check its eruption warning level before you go and see how close you can get to it and how dangerous it is. I've never done that, even though I climb a lot. <laughs> the source of the explosion is actually water. Water? Oh! Water plays a major role in the mechanism by which magma rises to the surface from deep underground. Water has a small volume in liquid form, but when it boils, it turns into water vapor, and its volume increases by 1,700 times. Suppose there is hot water at several hundred degrees Celsius underground to begin with, if it tries to swell, it will expand several thousand times. And because it swells up instantly, an explosion is caused. How about the volcanoes in Japan? The magma in Japan contains a lot of water. When magma rich in water comes to the surface, it's prone to explode. So Japan's volcanoes are very dangerous? Yes, they are. <laughs> The Japan Meteorological Agency is constantly monitoring 50 volcanoes. And among them is one which could erupt with great violence at any time that is located very close to Tokyo. That's Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji? The famous Mount Fuji? <laughs> An inconvenient truth for the symbol of Japan is it true? It's very quiet now, right? Yes, I climbed it. Why do people think Mount Fuji will erupt? Well, we checked out the history of eruptions of Mount Fuji during the past 5,600 years. And we discovered that during that period, it has erupted 180 times. That means that on average, it's erupted once every 30 years. But it hasn't erupted recently, right? No, it hasn't. Actually, it hasn't erupted for over 300 years. The fact that a volcano that in the past erupted once every 30 years hasn't erupted for 10 times that long is an extraordinary situation. So it's thought it could erupt at any time. When do you think that will be? We don't know about that yet could erupt next week, or it could be decades away. Fuji. 
What will happen if Mount Fuji erupts? It will emit a massive amount of volcanic ash into the air. Volcanic ash is made up of magma that has been shattered by the explosion and contains sharp, glassy particles. It's estimated that 400 million cubic meters of debris would pile up in areas where people live and work, such as towns and fields growing crops, 10 times the amount generated by the Great East Japan earthquake. As soon as it erupts, no planes in the area will be able to fly. Volcanic ash in the air could stop the engines. Also, trains will be stopped if even just 0.5 millimeters of volcanic ash accumulates on the rails. An ash depth of 10 centimeters will stop cars moving. And if it gets much deeper, even four-wheel drive vehicles will be stuck. In places where the ash is piled up 30 centimeters, if it rains, the ash will become so heavy it may destroy your house. So you should evacuate to a concrete building. Even if a small amount of ash piles up on power lines, if it's wet because of rain or fog, sparks will fly on the telegraph poles, causing short circuits and power failures. And if ash gets into the water intakes, the quality of the water will deteriorate and the water supply will become unavailable. Also, if you try to flush the volcanic ash away into the sewers, they will become clogged. So if an explosive eruption occurs, every function of the Tokyo metropolitan area will be paralyzed. What countermeasures are there? Well, I would recommend studying the hazard map of Mount Fuji published by the local government. It includes a variety of information based on scientific simulations, including the anticipated flow of magma and the extent of ashfall in the event of an eruption. Depending on the wind direction, the ashfall is expected to be between 2 and 10 centimeters in Tokyo which will cause severe damage to various urban functions. For example, an explosive eruption will surely cause traffic paralysis in the Tokyo metropolitan area after about three hours. So, in less than three hours, you may have to decide whether to leave the dangerous area or stay at home with a two-week supply of food and water waiting for help to arrive. Three hours is only a guideline. In reality, evacuation can be very dangerous, so it's important to stockpile drinking water and other supplies at home. And there are other precautions that should be taken. Is there anything else we should do? If you wear contact lenses, you should be aware that volcanic ash getting between the lens and the cornea can damage your eye. I'd recommend wearing goggles and a mask when you go outside. Access to medical facilities may be difficult, so it's important to protect your eyes and respiratory organs. If you must go outside, a helmet, goggles, and a dust mask are essential. And you should wear long sleeves and long pants to avoid getting volcanic ash on your body. It's advisable to stay indoors as long as you can and wait until the traffic system recovers. There's really only so much we can do. Yes, it's really limited. The last eruption of Mount Fuji lasted for 16 days. The coming eruption is considered as a situation that no modern metropolis has ever experienced. There's only so much you can do, but it's important to check the hazard map for your area and simulate your actions in the event of an eruption.